Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Klementi Saichev and Marat Askerov. This is a game from the Russian Team Championships 2019. Klementi Saichev had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening, c5, the symmetrical variation, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6, g3, black to move. In this position, black can play many different moves. The three most played moves are queen to b6, bishop to c5, and bishop to b4. Marat Askero played d5, bishop to g2, black to move, should black take on c4 or not? Bishop to c5 was played. If d takes on c4, then knight takes on c6, and white wins. Back to our game. Bishop to c5, knight to b3, bishop to b4, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5. Should white play bishop to d2 or something else? How would you continue? Saichev castled king's side. Knight takes on c3. B takes on c3, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, black to move. Should black take on c3 or not? Would you? Would that be a trap? Marat Askero played bishop to e7. What's wrong with taking on c3? If bishop takes on c3, then rook to b1, and after castling, bishop to a3. The strongest defense is bishop to b4, then bishop takes on b4, knight takes on b4, knight to c5. White is standing slightly better. Let's play a few more moves. Knight to d5, bishop takes on d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on b7, and black has a weak pawn on the d file. The end game would the five a white. Back to our game. Bishop to e7, knight to d4, bishop to d7, knight to b5, threatening knight to c7, check. Black to move. Should black castle king side or queen side? Marat Askerov castled queen side. If black castles king side, then rook takes on d7. So we have a castling queen side, and we call it a castling into it. Rook to b1, a6, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this lovely spot? Knight to a7, check. Black to move, king to c7 was played. If knight takes on a7, bishop takes on b7, check is extremely unpleasant. After king to b8, what happens then? Then bishop to f4 check, and white is winning. And let's go back. How about king to b8? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Then bishop takes on c6, and after bishop takes on c6, knight takes on c6 check, king to c7. Knight takes rook, and white is winning. Back to our game. To avoid all this trouble, king to c7 was played. White to move. How would you continue now? What is the best move for white? Saichev played bishop to f4, check. e5, white to move. White played a move and black resigned, and the move is bishop takes on e5. Play with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes on e5, rook takes on b7, check, knight. What a lovely miniature. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.